Hey there, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to mirror a collection instance using geometry nodes. So if I was just to create a collection instance of my little monkey model here, I can't mirror it because I don't have access to the modifiers tab over here. But we can get around that using geometry nodes. So let me get rid of that. I'm just going to create, say, a plane as the, the base for my geometry nodes. And then under now I have access to the modifiers tab. I can go in here, go to geometry nodes. And I've already created the uh, network for it, uh, save some time. So there is my, I've, I've chosen my collection. I only have the one collection. So that's my first argument. My second argument lets me mirror that across the, the x-axis. You could, of course, modify this for y and z if you wanted to. And this uh, next argument lets me rotate this one on the right. This one lets me rotate this one on the left. And then if I click on this checkbox, it's going to lock or, I guess, synchronize the rotation so that they mirror in the same direction. So let's take a look at the network for that or the node setup. I'm in the geometry nodes editor here. This green box is for this guy on the right, and this kind of orangey box is for the guy on the left. I'll try to make this big so you guys can see it, copy it. Uh, basically, these are the arguments coming in. Uh, this one just moves the object uh, left and right across the x axis. And then this argument here lets me rotate my instance on its z axis. And that all gets combined into a transform geometry for the object that was on the right. And then for the object on the left, it's a little more complicated because I have this switch that lets you choose between you know, these upper nodes and these lower nodes. The, upper, the difference being that the one set of nodes uh, uses the input for, the, um, for this rotation, the number two rotation, and the other one just uses the input for the rotation of the first object and then just multiplies it by negative one so that they you know, spin in synchronized fashion. And then, um, yeah, then that's it. It just goes into, uh, it goes through the switch, it chooses which one of those two to pick, and then it gets combined into this geometry uh, to instance node, and that's what gives us our two objects. So uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, hopefully you find that helpful. Good luck in your modeling.